Hi everyone, my name is Norma Selayla. Me and my group members would like to explain about the case of Wisma Punca Emas vs Dr. Donald. In the case of Wisma Punca Emas Sendirian Berhad vs Dr. Donald, the defender were engaged in some construction work in the building beside the plaintiff clinic, the work including piling and excavation works. As a consequence of these activities, the plaintiff were cried and tighter. Plaintiff song injunction held the indiscriminate excavation and removal of earth, stone and clay from the defendant land without taking sufficient precaution caused the sinking. In this case, the appellant contended that the main issue was a good question of negligence but the trial judge awarded the claim of nuisance. The respondent contended the nuisance was not pleaded in the statement of claim. Furthermore, there was a great difference between negligence and nuisance. In this case, the court held that the difference between negligence and nuisance is not important. That, in the context of the present case, is the same as saying that the claim is based on nuisance. It should be noted, however, that the decision sets a dangerous precedent as a plaintiff may get away with a statement of claims that are vague and lacks clarity and precision. There are two types of nuisance, which is a public and private nuisance. Public nuisance is a criminal wrong. It is an act or omission that obstructs, damages, or inconveniences the rights of community. While the private nuisance can be defined as unlawful interference with a person's use, comfort, enjoyment, and any interest that a person may have over his land. Nuisance means a person or thing that is causing inconvenience or annoyance. In nuisance case, negligence is not required to prove that there is a nuisance. All that is compulsory is evidence of special damage which will be affected to his property due to the activities of defendant on the adjoining land. The cause of action in this case was hinged on the natural right of support. In the perspective of this case, it was the same as saying the claim was based on nuisance. All that is necessarily to prove special damage to his property due to the activity of defendant adjoining land. The appeal was accordingly dismissed. That's all from us. Thank you for watching our video.